What's going on guys? I'm Ada Little. Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. Last time we left off, we ended up doing something pretty cool, and that's we kind of we kind of always hinted at the fact that maybe Castellanos is still stuck in STEM. And I thought that could have been either like in a literal sense, like the Mobius still had him stuck in STEM, like he never left STEM. You know, all the years that he's been growing and stuff, he's just been in another part of or the same STEM. Or the fact it could be more of like a mental thing that part of him was stuck in STEM. And that's what it ended up being. The ghost led us to a place where part of him was still stuck in Beacon. And he could not escape from it. And so this part of Castellanos ended up freeing him from it. And we got uh, the ninth uh, photographic slide too. So I don't know. Maybe the ghost... Is that the end of we see of the ghost? I don't know. We're still kind of seeing a lot of... Um, ghostly residue so we're just gonna go ahead and run and leave here and I'm not also not doing too okay yeah and so now in this episode we're gonna continue on looking for um, I think we have to look for different um, whatchamacallits uh, another like a security pass or something like that in order to get past everything and there's more of those guys around here. We kind of took care of some of them, but there's some of these doors that are around. I think we went to number three. And number three had stuff. Oh. And there's a guy in here, too. Oh, I got another pouch. A medical pouch. Wow, okay, so that's the second one. That's the max. I can get a, a max amount of pouches now. That's cool. I think there is... No. Nope. Already. At this rate, there will be no one left in two weeks. We've lost contact with Mobius. We're trapped in here. There it is. I always get a little confused on that. Where, where do I need to go for this? The core escaped less than a day ago. Within hours, we began to receive reports of lost emerging in staggering numbers. Lost. They're everywhere now. Twenty percent of Union's populace has succumbed already, and they're actively hunting down and killing whoever is left. It's a nightmare. Sounds like Beacon. There will be no one left in two weeks. We've lost contact with Mobius. We're trapped in here. With the lost. It's too late to stop now. The entire Union experiment is doomed. We're all doomed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, she does not sound very pleasant. I think... So that... At least we actually figured out a name to these guys. Instead, they're not really zombies. I mean, they kind of are. Well, I mean, I don't know. Could you consider them zombies? I mean, what they are is just like people that have succumbed to this mental craziness of uh, the core being taken away, you know? And I don't really understand that. Like, why, why all of a sudden they would become, like, the lost, you know? But I don't know. Maybe that's something somebody could explain to me in the comments. You know, because I would imagine it's just like a psychological breakdown. And they just become a horror. They just become a mindless zombie. Like their brain dies or something like that. Because they cannot technically handle it. You know, only people that can handle it are psychopaths and children. So, I don't know. It's another, again, another aspect of the game that I really like. It's cool. Alright, you guys. Y'all better stay dead. And I'm glad I was almost going through this door. And I'm really glad I didn't go through here. Because I ended up getting that, that uh, side thing completed. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, that's a good question. What is... That is a lot of drills. And they go way deeper than that. They go real deep, it looks like. Like, super deep. I actually think I got enough to get some more stuff later. Oh, and that looks like a bucket for brains. Let's see what this is going to say. Computer file, operative case. Our worst fears have been realized. The lost phenomenon has spread to Mobius operatives. We have theorized that the transformations were a result of a memory over memory overwrite, but no operatives have been overwritten. We were able to quarantine and terminate affected Mobius operatives before he could transform. Uh, perhaps his exposure to, to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible to whatever is causing this. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence. We are harvesting his Unity cerebral chip in the hopes it will provide new data. 
and removal of the intact cerebral chip is possible with an extraction device. It is relatively simple and automated an automated process. Merely place the subject on the gurney and enter in the extraction device activation code 0128. Huh. If they so this... haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. So that, that's interesting. So, I don't know. It uh, adds more questions still, like how people become, become lost. Because it sounds like before the core even started, the core is taken, people were still going crazy. Maybe in just smaller numbers, but the, even then, the numbers were starting to rise and even affecting the Mobius agents, which this is the guy that apparently was near the pit. Zero, one, two, eight. Okay, right. let's see what happens. Oh, he's probably going to wake up screaming. Oh, this is going to be gross. What's with your hair? Ugh. There's no other way to remove it. So literally, the, <laughs> the drill goes down there, grabs it, and then just happens to pull it out. They put that thing deep in there. Unity Cerebral Chip. This electronic chip it was implanted in the brain of the Mobius operative. Oh, thank God he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. No shit. I'm, I have a feeling it's not. God damn it. Feeling it's not going to be as easy as I'm hoping it will be. It's, there's nothing else in here, right? Yeah, I don't. What is that? Oh, that's just the, that. Okay, it's not going to be as easy. Oh. There's a lot less of these guys in here now. Let's go ahead and load this shotgun up. Okay. Oh, they just busted the door down. I'm not really seeing... Okay, I don't really see any of them. I'm hearing a lot more of them. It honestly sounds like the, um, the acid spitter, who happens to also be a screamer. Got. Oop. Let's see. Nope. Good this uh, this way. Okay, I'm good this way too. Oh, you better not jump out through that door. I knew it. Son of a bitch. Come on. Need you to run. Okay. Okay, maybe I can get around. I'm hoping I can get around and stab her in the back. Oh, there's more than one. Son of a gun. Okay, do I have any glass? Yes, I do. Where are you gonna go? Oh, you're coming this way. Thank you. Oh, hello. Okay, I didn't mean to do it that way, but... She kind of came snooping around. All right, well, that's two. I don't think there was anything else. Of, well, that kind of looks shiny, so I'm going to go run and grab that. Why can't I run? Can you can you start running? There it is. Jesus. Okay, I don't think there's any other things up here for me to go for besides to leave. Shit.
Okay, I don't see any... Ooh, I see some stuff over there. Some bottles and gunpowder. Ah, oh, great. So there is one of those super killers there. And she's kind of a pain because she can instant kill you by grabbing you and spitting acid in your mouth. So, people, make sure you brush your teeth. Ooh. I wonder if this is one of those things that I can sneak by, because I think I need to start sneaking. Oh, hello. There's a room down here. Oh, God. She sounds absolutely creepy. Let's go ahead and close that. Can I close it? Guess not. Container. Ooh. Red goop. Does that mean there's a... Oh, there's another file here. Uh, irregularity studies. The phenomenon has become more prevalent. We are, have dedicated the entire laboratory wing of the marrow to, to studying it. Citizen transformations have become quick, violent, and even more obscene. They are mutating into forms that can't even be considered humanoid. Uh, yeah, aka acid chick. Um... They have lost any semblance of humanity altogether. They have been dubbed these effective citizens the lost. We have determined the last phase before metamorphosis involves the brief, uh, the belief that they are being pursued by some invisible but inspicable force. Once they have succumbed to this force, their transformation begins. Stem is an artificial construct. There are no viruses, bacteria, or cont contagion here. The lost phenomenon is therefore a mental process. We are still in the dark of as how to just, it spreads and to whom it will spread next. Perhaps the trigger was present in the subjects before they entered STEM. Further research is needed. It could be. It could be like any type, some small type of like uh, psychopathic disorder or anything like that or sociopathic or anything. It could possibly be that and it just makes it bigger here. Or the fact it could be one of those crazy creepy things of like... Um, like just unknown things, you know, because they did mention that there's a deeper level of STEM that we don't know about. Oh, oh, so it could be something to that nature. All right. Let's see how this is going to work. I can always rush back into here. Okay, there's, I want to kill these two. Which I can, if I just go up there and stab one. Oh, shit. Oh, can you run? Thank you. R oh, how did I not have stamina? Ooh. Thank you. What's this? Oh, that's all I got. Oh. There's a lot more weird stuff down here than I thought. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there's another file here. Uh, STEM interrogation irregularities. We've begun to observe a new and unexpected side effect of STEM into, uh, integration to certain uni union citizens. The symptoms begin simply enough a small mental breaks triggered by vestigial vistu vistu memory overlaps. Affected citizens begin to experience their old memories, which leaves them in a state of confusion. Rewriting their memories again is only a stopgap measure. Their new union designations serve only to confuse them further. Soon these small breaks develop to a complete dissociative and eventually total uh, physical metamorphosis. This, phys this phenomenon is currently affected only by 0.00.5% of the population, but it's trembling, troubling nevertheless. Much of was learned after the Beacon incident, but STEM is still experimental technology. We are isolating our studies while we continue to expand Union. It is imperative that we stop at this before it escalates. Yeah, so definitely... There was definitely an issue going on before this all... Was I, was I supposed to go here? No. I don't think I was. Yes, maybe I was. Wasn't there another door? Come on through. Actually, can I just kick... 
Oh, there's a lot more of you. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I don't want to attract her attention. Oh god, she's right there too. Where'd she go? Oh, that's creepy because... Oh jeez, she's moving much quicker. Hey. Can I take this? Okay, I use up... I'm using up quite a bit of ammo here, but I've also been getting quite a bit of stuff back. I just really don't want to fight her because she's like a long range person. Where the hell did she go? She's like the most unnerving person. Okay, time to go in here. Entry authorized. About time. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Hopefully. Ooh. Is this gonna be a uh No 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 no. Hold on a second. Let's grab this. Because I definitely need more gunpowder. Okay. This is definitely gonna be something because Yeah, they're giving me a lot more shotgun ammo. What's down here? Okay, that's another maze. So what's over here then? Cryogenic units. Oh, you're the doggos. Better be dead doggos. So what was... Okay, so there's another room over there. Oh, it's way too quiet. Super quiet. Okay, so there's that. Whoops. Okay. I have a feeling like if I go towards the middle, I'm going to find something that I'm going to need. Like maybe another secret. Maybe not a big secret like what we just had. But. Uh, I think honestly, it just all connects. Yeah. I, yeah, this is gonna explode. I have a feeling because look, it says fire. There's oh, a bunch voices. Yeah, I have a feeling it's not gonna turn out well because that is candles, and they've been giving me nothing but emergency fire pull. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be dealing with some fire guys in a minute. Him now? Liam! Don't! That's Liam? What do you mean, Liam? Stay back! Ugh. Dude, what happened to you, Liam? Oh, you just ripped off your face. Stay out of my way, Sebastian. What the fuck, Liam? O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! Oh, yay. Boss battle. Time to run. Oh, God. Okay, so... As we saw before, there was things for me to cool them off with. I just don't know where they end up at. Okay, where is he at? Oh. Getting too hot in here. Got to put the flames you out. Won't get out of here. He commands that I take care of you. Okay, so that just puts the flames out. For change, like me. 
Okay, so here he comes. I kind of want to get him close to that and then shoot him. That's what exactly I want to do. I'm hoping he gets close to that. I can shoot that, blow it up, and then unleash some shotgun blast into him. I think also I should go ahead and start using this. Okay, which way are you going? Oh, great, you're going that way. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Actually, also another time would be good to... Do I have... How many explosive bolts do I have? I have seven. So... Let's... Oh, he went down the other way. Crap. Well, this gives me a good chance to put this over here. How many of those do I have? I have one clip and that's stock seven. Once you give in, all the confusion and guilt will go away. I have one of these? I keep going to the thing. I wanted to change. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's do this then. Oh crap! I'm sorry. I won't let him get away. I promise. I don't think that worked out as well as I hoped it would. Oh god, he's right there. That was scary. Dang it, man, this is gonna be a hard fight. Now that he did that, now I gotta run the other way. Oh crap! Oh, I can take it. I won't come down easy. Oh, he went the other way. Come on. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Kind of waiting for him to pop back up. I doubt he's going to come this way because I have it blocked off. Or mined off. Oh, he did. Use the electric one now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Master. Oh, come on. I think I pissed him off. Oh, yep, I did. Ooh, I really did. Okay, so I need to get... Oh, there's one of my mines. Uh, 
Okay, yet again, I'm out of, <laughs> I'm out of, I am out of ammo. And this guy is not near dead. I have no idea how to beat him. I'm going a really long time. I'm sorry, Master. I won't let him get away. I promise. Are you serious? Out of ammo yet again. No more playing with fire. You think you're so clever. Oh, I don't mean to do that. Oh, ah, get away. Never escape me. Oh, now he's running after me. Oh, I need a couple more ammos. I need it some more ammo. Oh. Oh, this is not fair. Come on. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Okay, this is kind of weird now, because now he's just straight up chasing me everywhere. Oh, come on. Oh, this is... Am I really going to die to this? Dude, no, come on. It took me forever to get to this point. God damn it. Okay, so I know what's going to happen. I know I need to do this, so I might as well just go ahead and jump right back into it. Skip. No. You think you're too good to fight me? Oh, so you only have one. You can only you only need one. Come on, buddy. You won't get out of here. He commands that I take care of you. You can either die or change like me. I'm not scared of you anymore. It's getting too hot in here. Gotta put the flames out. Oh, come on, that was cheap. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Shit, let me do that either. Then, Sebastian, listen to him. You change your mind like you did mine. You must be cleansed. Stop 
jump on me. How does it feel to be the weak one now? Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. I won't let him get away. I promise. Oh, come on, man. Never again. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Where'd he go? I have all... Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Easy. I think I'm out of those. I need to get him over there. What the? Come on. Nope. I'm sorry, my son. I won't let him get away. I promise. Dude, what the nuts is... I really need him to walk over the other way. Can you stop hitting that? Do I have? Nope. I am completely out of everything. Besides explosives. And, and shotgun ammo. Well, I have a... I also have this, which I think is... On freeze bolt. Oh. Can this be set up like a trip mine too? It can. Yes. Can the other one be set up like a trip mine too? Father Theodore, I told no. him. Hey, you gotta come over here, man, if you want to fight me. So I should have two down there. So if he actually ends up walking that way, I'm sorry, Master. Man, this is I won't a tough, tougher fight than I thought. I promise.
Oh well, you can still see her over there. Oh, he's coming. Shotgun's not good any for distance. That might have stopped me before. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Oh, is this gonna be a round of game? Round robin? Can you just come around there? There we go. Just walk there. can ever ever stop running because that's how I'm gonna be able to survive this matchup between you and me is me by ah, okay oh crap that screwed up I'm sorry master I won't let him get away I promise okay I think I'm doing a little better, even though I'm still kind of screwed in the sense of uh, shotgun stuff. But the shotgun's got some staying power. Oh, okay. Did it beat him? Took me Thank down. you, S Sebastian. And finally, free from his voice. From my fears. I was so scared. Y you've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. The machine in the room next door. Face shifted? You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. What happened? How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but he heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. And I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Crossing to the other side. Broken flamethrower. This flamethrower fuel tanks are damaged beyond repair. You'll need to find some replacements before you can use it. The, we the weapon seems to be to use custom-made parts, so you'll probably need to find 
a similar weapon to salvage the tanks from. You'll have a feeling that you're not going to find one just laying on the ground, though. Meaning I've got to fight... Thrower. I could use this. I've got to fight broken. those other dudes. No, I don't want to fight them. If I found the right parts. There's a residence point somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure it's in the room. Yeah. Maybe we'll see what happened to O'Neill. Oh, thank God there's a thing in there. I keep pressing the wrong button again. Where's that resonance point? Oh, it's over here. Oh, here it is. Whoa. I would never disobey. Yes, Master. Of course. The machine is operating as it should. <sighs> thank you, Father Theodore. Oh, that's cool. Sure you say that. It fills me with pride. What? But she is harmless to us. She's not... No. I would never disobey. Of course I will. Whatever pleases you. Yukiko, can you hear me? I'm in the fabrication room. Clearances don't mean much when everyone's dead. Just... Please come and meet me here. I have something to show you. It's important. I'm sorry, Yukiko. But he demands it. Dang. Residual memories number 18. So, poor dude. You know, he didn't want to. He just got, I wonder how he got caught up in it. I mean, maybe it was just some kind of weakness that he had. What the hell is this? Investigate. Lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Yeah, maybe. Mark of influence. Theodore's sticking his fingers in every part of this place. It's almost like a form of communication with him. Maybe it's like the broken mirror here. Anyway, anyways, guys, we're going to end this episode here. Again, it kind of ran long because it was a boss fight plus exploring a little more. And it was he ended up being a slightly harder boss than I assumed. It just took a lot more hits, and of course, I did not have nearly enough ammunition. And I think the second time went around a little better because I, I placed some of the mines a little better than before and stuff like that, and I got some better shots in. And I didn't get a chance to blow his, uh, his uh, thing up this time, but I know if you, blew up, if you blow up his tank, he ends up just chasing you, and he's actually hard to run away from. So... Anyways, well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time.